Uh, we're going to Scotland now. New laws to tackle the harm caused by hatred and prejudice uh, come into force there today. This is the Hate Crime and Public Order Act, and it extends uh, racial hatred offence protections to people prejudiced against on the basis of their age, whatever all that means, disability, religion, sexual orientation, and transgender identity. I think there's more trouble with religious discrimination in Scotland than any of those other things. But anyway, mm. campaigners are expected to protest uh, at the act outside Scottish Parliament today. Well, let's cross live now to so GB News Scotland reporter Tony Maguire, who is in Edinburgh for us. Very good morning to you, Tony. As this bill comes into force today, but as we just heard, we are actually expecting protests. Indeed, good morning to both of you. Certainly, we're going to see a protest around half past one here today. Now, this, this bill um, is really can be traced all the way back to essentially the tail end of the last decade, where a former Justice Secretary by the name of Hamza Youssef um, put this plan in motion for the Hate Crime and Public Order Act. Now, the, on paper, this bill is supposed to protect people with certain characteristics, and as you mentioned there, extend the uh, the, the various protections um, in terms of race-related hatred towards things like transgender identity, age, sexuality, um, and so on. Now, understandably, this has received quite a lot of criticism over the years, you know, and that criticism has been stretched far-reaching from the church, who is concerned about how they can pro progress with various um, campaigning projects and around the church from Police Scotland, who only a few weeks ago had said um, publicly that they no longer had the resources to investigate every crime. However, they have committed to investigating every single report that is made against this new act which comes in today. Quite a lot of concern has also been raised um, by the gender critical feminist movement. Um, of course, some of the more prolific members of that movement include J.K. Rowling and Joanna Cherry, QC, who is SNP MP down in Westminster. They are concerned that there will be quite a large outpouring of malicious reports um, in terms of people targeting perhaps just people that they don't like, um, and of course the police would be forced to follow up on them. Now, it does seem to be Hamza Youssef on Friday there, he came out and said that any vexatious reports, you know, Police Scotland are no stranger to handling them, and that actually in this case it wouldn't be um, any different. However, um, as we mentioned, at about half one today, there's going to be a huge protest outside Holyrood, where I am just now. That's organised by a Facebook group by, um, called Glasgow Cabbie, um, a faceless organisation or a faceless member of Facebook, but certainly carries quite a lot of weight up here when it comes to political activism. Um, he was involved quite heavily around this time last year, following the gender recognition reform bill and the various protests that came along with that. Um, we understand that today um, a, a pastor who actually had the pleasure of speaking to on Saturday, he's going to be speaking at the protest today about the church's concerns and we're also going to hear quite a bit um, from Four Women Scotland who are obviously concerned that any of the points that they raise against the, um, the kind of transgender activis activism, um, most um, that they, they are going to be speaking today at the protest. So lots happening here today outside Holyrood. What are you picking up, Tony, as to the feeling on, the, on all of this? You, you talk about the taxi protester there and the religious people and whatever, but it, it's, it sounds increasingly like a police state. I mean, Ellie and I were talking here. You're not obviously allowed to have a view that's different than anybody else's. You're not allowed to express a view. It's going to lead to more timid, more bland people. It's like the way television is nowadays. You switch on, I could name all the programmes, but the presenters don't say anything. They're risk adverse. There's no commentating on anything. It's just, I mean, is it a better world? Is it really a better world for all this legislation? 
Well, certainly, I, I'm not really the right person to answer that. But don't, you know, you don't want to take my word for it. Speaking to people in Glasgow on Saturday, you know, they said that everybody is just starting to get scared, a bit careful about about what they're saying. You know, some people just calling it outright maddening. Um, and certainly, you know, the thing that I've been thinking about as well is, you know, we have one of the biggest arts festivals in the world, world here, and over the last decade, I've interviewed hundreds of comedians who are part of that fringe festival. You know and sometimes just to get bums on seats as it were you know they'll look to the more risky humour you know they'll have to think twice about that and there's going to be a lot of acts um, at the festivals and indeed even just online and promotion who are going to have to think twice about how they promote their shows Gotcha, gotcha and uh, just before we leave you Tony it was just we had Theo Chacombe on the M25 before we came to you where the sun was rising over the M25 and we see where you are hmm. It's obviously 20 minutes or so behind uh, light uh, dawning anywhere else. I mean, that's the way you will have always known it in Scotland, the way I knew it in Belfast. Um, we used to have to go at one stage, they, they didn't turn the clocks back and we had to go to school in the dark, uh, the way it was. But um, there is a difference in light time there, isn't there? Yes, there absolutely is, and you're right, it's about 20 minutes, um, as quite often, you know, especially in the winter months, you know, I, I'm keen to come out to the Great British public on television as early as possible, but sometimes there are restrictions, and indeed, I mean, we've got a big overcast sky to contend with today as well. It certainly sounds like Theo has um, won the lottery in the weather this morning. <laughs> OK, mate, thank you very much indeed. Have a Thanks, good day Tony. today. Thank you very much.